what is going on you guys here we are back with some bmx the game we're here with another tutorial if you guys do enjoy these videos be sure to hit that thumbs up button it really does help me out a lot it takes a second out of your day it makes mine a whole lot better um but this should be a quick little video i'm just gonna be addressing a huge problem for the game uh, a lot of people ask me about this uh, and it's probably one of the, the most frequently comments i get is how do i get better frames per second how does your game run so smooth um, all these different things revolving around that um, because it, it is a very um, intense game I guess you could call it uh, you need a good computer to play this game I'm just gonna give everybody a forewarning right now if you have not bought the game yet um, if you are playing on your mom's laptop that you've had in the house for two years it will not run the game um, I'm just gonna give you guys a heads up I know I'm gonna be completely honest there's no way to sugarcoat it um, the game does take a uh, pretty hefty computer to run it smoothly now, by no means do I have an awesome gaming computer. Um, my specs are in the description if you can go down and look at those. Um, they may not mean a lot to some people, and they may mean a whole lot to some people who know what they're looking at. But, um, if you don't know what you're looking at, that is nothing spectacular. My computer is nothing over the edge. Um, I think that I paid around $400 for it a couple years ago, a year ago. Um, actually, it'd be about a year ago right now um, is when I bought it. So. By no means do I have a crazy computer, um, if you guys have watched prices of computers, that is not much at all, $400 for a gaming computer is actually very cheap, um, but anyways, I just wanted to get that out there, get that drilled into your guys' brains, that this game is kind of intense to run, so do not buy it if you have a little junky computer. Now I'm not saying they need an awesome computer, like let me remind, I'm not trying to scare everybody away from buying the game, um, if, you, if you have a decent computer you may be able to run it. But, you know, these few tricks, I'm going to teach you uh, how you can run it on a uh, not-so-great computer. So, without further any, without any further ado, um, here is how to lower, how to raise your frame rate and how to lower your lag. So, the first step, the most important step, is um, you want to go over onto your keyboard and um, you maybe have it on low right now I just switched over low settings by switching through the settings you use F1 through 8 I believe we'll see in a second here but F1 will put you on low you see now that I get 36 frames per second 30 frames per second it drops between probably 40 and 25 um, depending on what I'm doing if you, you can see my frames per second in the bottom left corner they're pretty small but they are there so that is on low keep in mind this is low is the lowest quality then you go to medium it's going to take a little bit to load. I'm not going to go through all the qualities just because it'll take so long. And just medium, I'm, you can see I'm still only getting about 30. Um, now I'm getting dipping down into the 20s a little more often than I was um, with low. But the best way, the best sec, the, like the best option to put this on so then it runs the smoothest is prototype. Now, I think I just pushed, let me make sure what F button I pushed so I can tell you guys how to get there. High quality, you can see I get 20 frames per second. It's in red. Um, see this comes up you push F5 and then you go to prototype quality which is the best quality that you can possibly be in for getting high frames per second um, let me just get rid of this little note here um, but you can see that I went from low well, in low I was getting around 30 dipping down into 20s every now and again now I'm at a pretty solid 40 at the high 40s near 50 which is actually rather good. Uh, 50 frames per second is enough to play on, that's for sure. So that's the biggest part, is put on prototype mode. Uh, I cannot stress this enough. And it's not like it's gonna look bad either. That's still, it just gets rid of the shadows and a few other unnecessary things. The next step, um, this is kind of multi-step kind of deal. The next step, to lower, or to getting better frames per second, I was supposed to tail up that, and he sort of rode over it. Um, is to turn off night mode. This new mode that they added where it can be nighttime, yeah, it looks pretty, but it does use up some frames per second. So go ahead and push F8. F8 turns it to daytime and it makes things run even smoother. Now you can see that I'm up in the 50s more than I am in the 40s. Um, and I'm a, before I was dipping down, it was constantly near 45 every now and again. You can see now that it's up near 49 more often. Oh, that was bad timing. It, it went down right when I started talking about it. But it's near more 49 to 50. So that's the next big thing. Now if you're still having troubles, if you still cannot play the game properly, if you're still kind of lagging, um, the next step would be, now this is kind of getting into desperate measures, um, you can go into first person. Now this doesn't just drop your frame rate switching over from per first person. Personally, 
I have found it that the game runs smoother in first person. Uh, I don't play first person simply because my viewers do not like it. So I have to I have to kind of make myself play in third person. It does run smoother. The game is easier to play. And then the next step is, if this is still kind of laggy for you, throw it in slow-mo. That's the best I can tell you guys. Um, you can see that it jumps up to 60 frames per second. Not only do the frames per second go up, but the gameplay makes a huge difference. When you play in slow-mo, it just feels better. Um, everything is a lot more slow, obviously, but very fluent and uh, kind of a flowing feeling. It's not near as jerky. If you can watch me do a little 270 bar spin here if he cooperates. Oh, going for wall ride, I guess. Um, but as you can see, it is very, very silk. It's just silky smooth, you know. Um, and then uh, if you turn it off, it gets a little more kind of jumpy around. Um, kind of almost panicky feeling in a way. Um, so that is my guide to getting better frames per second. If you guys have any questions, make sure to leave them in the comments. Be sure to subscribe if you're new around here. I do all kinds of tutorials, gameplays, updates, all these crazy things for BMX the game. Along with that, I do reviews on other BMX games that you may not even know exist. Be sure to subscribe if you want to be able to make up, keep up with all the BMX games out right now. But you guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure and give that thumbs up like I asked for in the beginning. If you have any more questions about frames per second or anything involving the game, be ahead and leave them. Be be sure to leave them in the description. I'm tripping over my words here, trying to talk faster and get this done, trying to stop rambling. But uh, that's it for this one, you guys. That's the best I can tell you guys. It's slow mo, first person. Let's do a quick little review. The first off, you're gonna go to prototype, which is F5. From there, you're gonna push F8, which will drop the, um, will turn it to daytime rather than nighttime. Then your next step will be to go first person. That you can do by pushing the right arrow on your uh, on your pads on your uh, controller pad. Um, push it over until you're on first person, and then use the left arrow to go into slow mo. If that doesn't help you guys, I don't know what to tell you. You might have to get a better computer. I hate to say it. But, you guys, I think that's it for this one. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed the video. I'm done rambling. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.